Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Aquarius. Uh, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of your December from the 16th to the 31st. We are going to take a look at your overall energies uh, regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. Uh, and then we will uh, take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Feel free to switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Um, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Uh, you guys, just a quick note that there is somewhere uh, someone out there impersonating me on Instagram. So if this person does reach out to you for money, uh, a reading for gift cards, that's not me. I would never do that. Uh, the only time I'm reaching out to you is that when someone books a private personal reading with me and I'm just reaching out to confirm your appointment, to confirm payment, okay? I only have two Instagram accounts. One is listed in the description box below and the other is my dog, okay? So if this person comes, you know, if you come across this person, report them. Um, Feel free to go on Instagram and report this person. I did post up the perpetrator that's trying to uh, be me uh, in the community tab on, uh, uh, on, my, on my YouTube page. Uh, yeah, I just don't want you guys to get scammed, okay? So just be careful. Um, so that's it. So let's get started, Aquarius. Over energies for Aquarius. Regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. What is surrounding Aquarius regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December, for the second half of December from the 16th to the 31st. What do we have for Aquarius here regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? All right, we have the Four of Swords here and the Knight of Swords. Whatever is going on here, Aquarius, the communication has ceased with this person. So there is a, an energy of disengaging from each other, sort of taking a break, taking a time out. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you guys took a time out. Uh, someone went to go travel or that this person's at a distance from you. Uh, what else do we have here? All right, we have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, by the way, with that Knight of Swords there, you could be dealing with another Aquarius, okay? Oh, Three of Swords jumped out and the Ten of Swords here. I feel like we have someone here that's disengaging, disconnecting here, taking a break, traveling. Uh, it seems like whatever happened here, there was a betrayal, there was heartbreak here. Maybe this person put you in a third party situation. Maybe this person was undecided. Maybe this person kept you as an option or just confused the crap out of you by playing a lot of mind games here. It's like giving you the, this cup and taking it away, giving it again, taking it away. So um, there is some mind fuckery going on here, I feel. So I feel like someone here is taking a break from this. You could be dealing with someone here who's younger than you, Aquarius, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be, but they could be the same age or older than you, but they're acting like, you know, a little child. All right, why is this four swords here? Swords here. Six of Cups. 
someone here could have issues with their childhood here too. You could be dealing with a ex or a, a, a past life soulmate. You could be dealing with a childhood friend or something like that. Just apply this to your own unique situation. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. We have the hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah, there's this energy of not communicating right now. There's this energy of not taking any sort of action. We have someone here that pulled back, sort of like reflecting on this whole situation, uh, releasing control, no longer controlling the situation, no longer controlling the outcome here. Because I feel like maybe the more that you controlled or someone controlled here, uh, this was the end result. thing is you can't control people. People have free will. People could do what they want. I feel like sometimes in these situations, the more that you try and control them, yeah, they'll definitely end up hurting you. Because, I mean, it's very childish, but you know how kids are? You tell them not to do something and they go do it. It's sort of like that. Page of Wands, High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. There's this energy of really not communicating, really this energy of keeping to themselves right now, keeping to yourself. Uh, King of Pentacles here and the Hermit. Aquarius, you are in Hermit mode right now. You are self-reflecting, introspecting. You're on the spiritual journey of healing, I feel. Three of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords again. So someone here did some hurting here. of swords the empress so the person that got hurt here is this empress so we have someone here who withdrew from this or both of you guys are withdrawn from this ten of wands there is a pretty painful ending here this was dropped someone here was unsure whether they who they wanted um I don't know. There could be other people here too. Threes, threes. There were secrets here. Yeah, there were illusions. So let's see what else we have here. Tell me about Aquarius' person. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius for uh, the second half of December from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Aquarius here. The person that is currently on Aquarius's mind or that or that they're dealing with here, their true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. What this person wants with you is commitment. Marriage. This person wants to take things to a higher level here with you. King of Cups and the Page of Swords. So we have a king here and an empress. So free, free to place yourself where you see fit and take it as it resonates. The roles could be flipped or reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, more Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. I feel like someone here is trying to approach this feminine energy. Someone wants to apologize for making someone paranoid and hurting someone and traumatizing somebody here. I mean, what is this person's true feelings and intentions to you, towards you? This person loves you. This person wants to apologize, uh, but your guard is up. This person wants marriage. This person wants like higher levels of commitment here. This person wants to learn from their mistakes or is trying to learn from their mistakes. Uh, I feel like you could be dealing with someone here that has uh, childhood abuse in their past because I really feel like this person treated you horribly, uh, Aquarius. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Seven 
seven of pentacles. High priestess. Four of pentacles. I mean, this person could be coming back because there are money issues. There's money issues here. Worry surrounding money with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, you're coming up as the Empress here, so obviously you're this, like, really abundant energy. King of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Seven of Wands. They want to talk, but you block them, um, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like with the Three of Cups here, someone here is trying to reunite with you. Someone here is looking for a reconciliation. Three of Swords. Not the Three of Swords. Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you moved on from this, or you're trying to move on from this. Like I said, um, someone here might be traveling or something like that. I think I saw, did we see the world card somewhere? I think so. I mean, I think I did before. Yeah, some of you could be traveling, trying to heal from this. Yeah, I feel like maybe you're trying to figure out what to do. Someone here is trying to figure out what to do. Or you could still be like dealing, this king still could be very undecided here. This person's definitely, this person definitely messed up pretty badly, I feel. Yeah, I feel like this person messed up pretty badly. I do, I, you could be dealing with someone here that doesn't does not know how to have a healthy relationship. Like I said, someone here has someone here has like childhood trauma. All right, let's see what we have here. Outcome and advice here for Aquarius regarding their love situation for the uh, second half of the December from the 16th to the 31st. Outcome and advice here for Aquarius regarding their love situation for the second half of December. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. I mean, Aquarius... I mean, you're pretty hurt by this. I feel like we have someone here that just can't take a hint. This person keeps bothering you. Even with the blocks here. Blocks in communication, blocks on social media or something like that. The world and the king of wands. You might have found someone else. I feel like we have a queen or an empress here that found a fling to heal. Perhaps you're traveling with a sling here, Aquarius. But you're definitely dropping this, Aquarius. You're definitely dropping this. Yeah, it just seems like this person just can't take a hint. This person keeps bothering you. This person could be stalking you. Uh, I do feel like you went traveling here. Perhaps this person caught wind of you going traveling with someone else. Oh, let me just turn that off. I'm sorry. Why is this eight, uh, Queen of Swords here? Your guard is definitely up because you're in pain here. You're in pain here. Four of Pentacles. You're keeping to yourself. This person could have sucked you dry. Money, material things, energy. Ten of Swords. The Fool. I do feel like some of you guys might be traveling. Like I said, I feel like maybe you found a fling, you know, to hang out with, to travel with. Found this person while you were traveling. 
Um, we got the Fool here, Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. Five of Swords here in Temperance. Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Sag here. Uh, this new fling that you might be dealing with could be a Sag or an Aries or a Leo. Nine of Swords, the Star. I mean, this person keeps bothering you. The thing is, I feel like deep down inside, you know that this person's not serious about making things right here. The world. Yeah, you know, I feel like you might be looking for new love elsewhere. Yeah, you might be looking for new love elsewhere. You might have, you might even have found someone else. And like I said, we have someone here that caught wind of it and yeah, you know, I feel like right now you're just taking some time out, just having a little fun. You know, I feel like <laughs> someone here might be having like breakup sex with someone new or like heartbreak, you know, trying to get over, uh, the, uh, uh, trying to get over your pain here, Aquarius. Um, but like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reversed. I just feel like this empress slash queen is you. And this king is the one that's, you know, bothering you. I mean, you might have even physically moved locations to get away from this person too. There's six of pentacles here. Yeah, I just feel like you're no longer giving to this burden anymore because I feel like you might feel like this person's a burden. So Aquarius, I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one.